During the Vietnam War, the American government employed the use of herbicides, which contained a chemical so dangerous and harmful, its effects are still seen today. Hello everyone, my name is Daniela Flom, and today I'll be discussing the effects of Agent Orange. There are many soldiers all around the world who still experience these effects daily. My grandfather is one of these people. And because of this, I decided to research this, research this topic and educate you all on it today. I'll be going through what Agent Orange is, what effects the soldiers experienced, and what genetic effects the children of soldiers experienced. So first, what is Agent Orange? Agent Orange is one of many different herbicides used in the Vietnam War as part of an operation called Operation Ranch Hand. And according to the journal Veterans and Agent Orange, Operation Ranch Hand had two primary objectives. One, defoliation of trees and plants to improve visibility for military operations, and two, the destruction of essential enemy food supplies. As more and more soldiers were deployed and sent to Vietnam, Operation Ranch Hand intensified and became more widespread around the country. Now, how did Agent Orange affect so many people? This is because of the way that it was employed. According to the journal Agent Orange Toxicity, 95% was released via aerial application by Operation Ranch Hand fixed wing aircraft. The remaining 5% was spread by ACC encampments, ACC operations using ground sprayers near troop encampments or by helicopters similar to Operation Ranch Hand missions. This means that the chemicals were in the air that people breathed and in the soil that they walked on. It was all around them. I mentioned earlier that Agent Orange was only one of many different herbicides used. They had a group called the Rainbow Herbicides, which each corresponded to a different color. There were agents green, pink, purple, blue, white, and orange, with orange being used the most. Each had a different chemical makeup and a different purpose. However, despite their differences, all of these herbicides, except for Agent Blue, contained a chemical known as tetrachlorodibenzyl p dioxin or TCDD for short. Now, TCDD was present in domestically available herbicides, as TCDD is what kills the plants. However, according to the journal Veterans and Agent Orange, the level of dioxin contamination in Agent Orange could have been up to 1,000 times higher than the level of dioxin found in phenoxy herbicides domestically available at the time. This is because samples of Agent Orange showed that it contained 1.98 to 2.99 parts per million of TCDD, whereas the standard for domestic use herbicides required that this level be below 0.05 parts per million. So next, let's discuss the health effects that this TCDD had on the soldiers. As part of my research, I reached out to my grandfather, my papa, and he told me Quote, there are many things that you can get from AO. I'll just tell you what I have. Also, there are many different cancers. What I have is diabetes, neuropathy, chronic regional pain syndrome slash RSD, lymphedema, headaches, high blood pressure. The VA puts out a list of things you can get from AO. And so I took his suggestion and I went to the VA's website and this is the list that they gave on their website. I don't have time to go through each of these diseases, but I thought it was important that you be able to see just how many things a person could get from Agent Orange. And you may notice that some of the things my grandfather mentioned that he suffers from do not appear on this list. And this is because some of his conditions were caused by the treatments of other conditions. And if this happened to him, I'm sure it happened to many other soldiers as well. So next let's discuss the health effects that Agent Orange has on soldiers' children. According to Barry Law, children may experience neural tube defects, congenital heart disease, spina bifida, and cleft palate from Agent Orange exposure. So that top left graphic shows different types of neural tube defects, including anencephaly and spina bifida. And neural tube defects occur when the neural tube, which forms the brain and the spine, um, forms improperly. And that bottom left graphic goes more in depth with different types of spina bifida. The top middle graphic shows different types of congenital heart disease, which affect the way a baby's heart works and the way that it's formed. And the two right graphics show different types of cleft palates and cleft lips, which occur when the tissue that forms the roof of your mouth is formed incorrectly. So to recap, 
Agent Orange was one of many different dangerous herbicides used in the Vietnam War to destroy plants. And these herbicides had many, many health effects on the soldiers and soldiers' children. I hope this presentation was able to give you more knowledge of Agent Orange and give you the opportunity to empathize with those who experience its effects. Thank you.